All right, guys, let's take a look at this week's internet weather. Uh, the top 10 most probe ports for this week, no surprise, 23 TCP is at the top. That's Telnet. It's been there for a long, long time. In second place is 22 TCP, that's SSH. After that is 1433, which I believe is MS SQL server. Uh, 8545 is Ethereum, that's that GF that you mentioned before. It's one of those uh, daemons that's getting scanned. Uh, in fifth place, we have 445 TCP, which is SMB, most likely still related to the WannaCry worm and offshoots of that. Uh, in sixth place is port 11211 UDP, which is memcached, which is a big favorite of yours, I think. A lot of news about memcached servers being used for denial of service attacks. Yep. So in seventh place is 3389, which is remote desktop protocol. Port 80 TCP is in eighth place, that's HTTP. 1911 TCP is, uh, I want to SSDP. say SSDP, yeah. And then in 10th place is 443 TCP, which is HTTPS generally. This new port popped right up, I think went up 27 spots, port 11211 UDP. And we're probably gonna see it, you know, go up even further in the top 10 list. Compare and contrast that to the most sources probing, this is a measure of the number of sources that are sending traffic as opposed to the volume of the overall traffic. So this can often indicate that there are large botnets involved uh, as opposed to just smaller numbers of folks generating large amounts of traffic. Lots of actors doing this. Lots of actors, yes. So again, port 23 TCP is still king. Uh, port 445 TCP is in second place in this case. Uh, port 5431 TCP is in third. And that one is kind of interesting. I believe that is another alternate port for UPnP. Mm -hmm. And I believe there was, there was an older bug for the WRT54GL, which is an old Linksys router. But there may be other UPnP vulnerabilities as well that we just haven't you know, been made aware of yet. Port 80 ICMP echo request is in fourth place, and I should probably mention uh, in sixth place is zero zero code ICMP echo reply, so that's ping traffic. Um, in the middle of those two, in fifth place is 21 TCP, that's uh, FTP file transfer protocol. Seventh place is 81 TCP, which is an alternate web port. I believe it may have something to do with a specific IoT device, but the name and model are escaping me right now. 6881, I believe, is BitTorrent. It's one of the peer-to-peer, -peer, yeah. Mm -hmm. Port 22 TCP is in ninth place here. That's SSH again. And then 5555 TCP is a botnet, I believe, is based on the Android ADB network port. Yes, this one I think we covered a few weeks ago on Internet Weather. And that's exactly right. There's a set of devices, Android devices out there that have their port 5555, which is used for debugging, the mm -hmm. debugging interface open. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's been decreasing over time as compared to these other threats. Mm -hmm. That's that's an interesting one. I think I met, the, read the same article was about um, ADB miner is the malware in that case. Again, yes. if something's got a vulnerability, people are going to use it to mine these days. Uh, so just a graph of the last 30 days on port 23 TCP telnet, slowly trending up again. Uh, you can see it's a usual cyclical thing, and it's, peaks, it's peaking out around 150,000 scan sources per hour. So still significant. But if you look back a year or so, I believe it's down from like a peak of like 400,000 yes. or something like that. Yes, a year ago, we, when we were seeing the Mirai attacks in, in particular, this number was way, way higher. Taking a look at port 8545 TCP, which is Ethereum, uh, GF in particular is part of this. There was a a bug in GF a while ago that was exposing RPC to the internet that would allow people to mess directly with your Ethereum wallets, which was a problem. Uh, but I'm sure that there's still you know, concerted interest in that. Taking a look in particular at the spike around the 1st of March, uh, turns out if you compare that to the number of scan flows, it's a spike in both the volume and the number of scanners. So you can see here that this is the scan sources per hour, and that peaks up around 3132. That's the one that's responsible for putting it up on the charts here. So someone had a real short-lived brief interest in this, this software. Scan sources on 445 TCP, which is SMB. Again, we attribute this generally to the WannaCry Eternal Blue suite of malware. And you can see it slowly trending upwards uh, as it has been since WannaCry broke and probably will continue to go until people start patching this stuff. The only thing that's different about this one is how pronounced the cyclical pattern is there. That's a good point. Uh, which probably means there's machines being turned on and off that belong to you know, a person actually Perhaps today. business machines, yes. yeah, yeah, very possible. 
port 5431 uh, is that UPnP one we mentioned, and you can see that it, it's got some significant concentrated spikes in very short time periods. And you take a look again at the, the scan sources, also concentrated spikes. So I would consider this maybe one botnet that periodically decides to scan on that port. Uh, you can see there's almost no background scanning on it whatsoever. So someone really wants this port <laughs> for a particular reason may suggest they know something that the general populace doesn't. Maybe they have a, a zero day that they try to exploit. And to talk about port 5555 is that Android ADB uh, vulnerability, which is not really a vulnerability so much as a misconfiguration, let's call it that. But you can see that we had a spike in the last 24 hours on that one and a pretty good amount of uh, background scanning as well. So scan flows are usually coming in around 40 to 50 million per hour. Internet weather, a lot of the things have stayed the same. The one major uh, news item is port 11211 UDP, which is memcached. That was the, the memcache reflective denial of service attack we talked about before. We're seeing significant spikes there. And I think the consensus is amongst the folks on the show today that those are only going to go up from there.